Hey everybody, this is Claire, and this is Small Joyful Things. As always, I go to thrift stores or estate sales, or sometimes I buy things from Craigslist, and I'm always looking out for things that I think are really interesting, or that I just find nice to look at, or that I think you guys might be interested in. And then I bring them home, try and find out as much as I can about them, and then tell you guys about them. And I really have to apologise, it's been very slim pickings lately. I haven't really found anything that I think is really worth talking about. I've been out to a few thrift stores, I've been helping a friend of mine who's uh, furnishing a new apartment, I just haven't really found anything that I found particularly compelling. Hopefully you'll forgive me because I've got something pretty good today. And what I have is this. So if you know if you know glass, then you probably know straight away that this is Fenton. Luckily, I actually have the label. Um, I ended up buying this in a thrift store. I saw it and I knew exactly what it was. I picked it up immediately and I spent $15 on it, which is definitely more than I should have paid for it. And I got it because I don't see a lot of Fenton, even though I, I've said it before, I do pick up pieces here and there. I don't see nice Fenton. I, se I definitely don't see the blue opalescent pattern, which is what this is. It's got this lovely clear blue down the base and it fades up to this like lovely little milk glass kind of an edge or whatever. So you get these nice little kind of dot effects. It's just really lovely to see. It's an entire pattern called blue opalescent and it's really really pretty <laughs> so so anyway i bought this for 15 dollars. definitely more than i should have paid for it because in this case there's damage to it you can see a big set of chips taken out there and you can see another big chip there now it's not cracked which is something i mean it would be definitely be worse if it was um as it is 15 dollars is probably what it's worth um unfortunately like this kind of damage or whatever to something like it's very lovely and i know that a lot of people are just like really like the blue opalescent pattern but that is a lot of damage and i know that there are others out there that would not be so quite so so heavily chipped but anyway but what can we actually say about it to start with it's basically a little decorative piece i think it was intended to be used to like store your either like you maybe put your business cards in it or toothpicks or something i think business cards would be kind of nice um when i actually bought it it was incredibly dirty and that presented a bit of a challenge as well because I had to clean the inside of it and just for reference if you're actually doing this yourself but what I literally did was I got dish soap and warm water and then just got a bunch of q-tips and I dip a q-tip in the water and then just kind of basically scrubbed all the gunk out here there was stuff down at the bottom here which I suspect is some kind of tobacco so someone definitely did abuse it it was very very dusty as well it was disgusting <laughs> but top priority was clean it and avoid hitting the sticker because that is an original Fenton sticker and that is definitely the first I've seen on any Fenton piece but anyway before we get to that measure it up and this is actually going to be tricky it is about six inches long let's say about inch and a half let's see yeah, let's say an inch and a half wide and then three inches high at the highest point. So, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's a very pretty, very decorative little piece. Um, the one thing I particularly like is this little detail here. If you see this little, basically this little, I can't tell if it's like a bear head or something else. You can just about see it. There's like, there's the bear and the little eyes. And it has these little paws here. And as far as I know, like all the Fenton slippers have the same design and I've never seen that before, not even in the pictures. Seeing it in person, I, ended, I, I definitely, I picked it up and I was looking like, oh, I've never seen that. And I've obviously seen these, these little slippers like a few different places. I've actually seen one other, one other example of, uh, that was made of uranium glass. Um, and I didn't even notice the little design here, even though I'm fairly sure it's the exact same mold. Um, yeah, crazy. So anyway, do we have an idea of when this was made? And considering that we have an original sticker, you'd think, yeah, we, we should. So first of all, oh, come on. Come on, iPad. I'm still not used to the new iPad. It sucks a bit. So, okay, here we go. This is Fenton Art Glass. This is their actual website. And they have helpfully provided a history of their label of like essentially, basically when they, were when they were using them. Very useful for our purposes. And what we want to narrow down on is this one here, 1957 to 71. Now, this one says magenta and blue, and this one looks a bit more magenta, and if I can get the light, I can't get the light right, come on. 
No, not gonna work for me. <laughs> yeah, you can just about, I'm gonna turn it a little bit and hopefully you'll be able to see it. I don't know if that's quite blue, it's very gray and I think maybe it's a little bit silver, but I'm, I'm not entirely sure. But good enough for me, it matches this one quite exactly. That is definitely where it would be. This one as well, it says that the last worker label has rounded edges and this one kind of doesn't. The style isn't quite the same. So I'm pretty confident saying that this is from the 1957 to 71, but that's not all we've got. First thing, replacements.com actually has the Hotmail Blue Opalescent by Fenton. There's a pattern code obviously here because everybody likes it. And there's that weird, there's some kind of weird shine on. You know, my lighting is terrible and I don't really know what to do with it, so let's just continue. Huh. So this one essentially lists the actual pattern as being discontinued and is actually made from 1939 to 1955. And that's kind of in the ballpark of where we've got for the label. 51 is where the label started, if I have that. No, 57, I'm being an idiot. <laughs> so yeah, I remember this, okay. Now we have some incongruity. The label says 57, this says 1955. However, I've got one more thing to show you guys. Sorry, just reach back for my book. Fenton Glass, my reference book. <laughs> so what does Fenton itself or whatever say about this? This is, I have this one and this third 25 years. I found them absolutely invaluable. Still trying to get the first book. Um, even though I say it's probably not gonna be as useful because I'm in Vancouver and I mostly see the later stuff, but here is blue opalescent hobnail, okay? Now you can see that the, the slipper is not here, okay? That's probably a bit of a concern. However, we can skip all the way over to here, which is the actual printing of the 1953-54 Fenton catalog, okay? And you can just about see right up here, there is the slipper. <laughs> And obviously this is in black and white, but that is definitely the opalescent colors. Like they did opalescent, like, you know, the, the, the basically the, the, the see-through lasted like this in a few different, in a few different colors with, uh, there was the, there's cranberry glass as well, most famously, I think. This just happens to be the blue one with the little, the little touch of white at the top, the opalescent kind of edge to it. And there's definitely a whole bunch of colors in this. And this is basically the ones that the range that they were doing. And they were doing it in 1953 to 54. So, that's kind of interesting for us. That basically says that like the the actual website, like the label um, on the, Fenton, the actual Fenton Art Class website is basically wrong. That or the that list, yeah, there you go, that looks right. See, that's kind of magenta and silver. They basically, maybe they missed the entry for this one because the one that they have there is magenta and blue. Like weird when you think about it. It's really good though that we can actually get like this like fairly accurately that gives us a really good kind of ballpark range of essentially when when this when this little shoe was actually made because we know that the pattern ran from 1939 up to well at least to 1954 and replacements.com says it was discontinued in 55 that's you know that's 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 probably what we're gonna what we're gonna get it's gonna be around that time i would say that Considering that the similarity of the sticker is so close to the one that says from 1957, it's probably from the later end of this range. It's probably 53 to 54. It's not as far, this one at least, not as far back as 1939. If you were into Fenton Art Class, highly recommend this book. It's been incredibly invaluable to me because it has so many color photos. I'll just put that back. Okay, so having said all of that, what is going to happen to this little piece? Um, Believe it or not, I don't think it's going to be worth my while trying to sell out with the damage. It is lovely, but I'm not sure that it's going to be worth anything with that kind of chips and everything to it. It's just a bit much. Um, now that said, I do know someone who has quite a large number of little model shoes. And what I think I'll be doing is giving this to her to add to her collection. Hopefully she'll like it. I know that she has at least one of the Fenton shoes, so I think she'll appreciate this as well. So here we go. This is my small joyful thing for the day. I hope you guys like it as well. Thank you very much for watching.